All right, so we determined that we need to figure out a way to get your lumbar spine moving and through flexion and extension. So we're gonna be utilizing that cat-cow position and trying to figure out how to isolate that into the low back. The goal for this is to really slow down and connect with your lumbar spine. Remember, there's only five segments there. So when your whole entire spine starts to move, we're compensating and we're not quite getting the job done that we're looking for. We're really trying to be honest with ourselves and how much our low back can actually move. And for some of us, it's not gonna move at all or it's gonna feel like it can't move past like an inch and that's okay. You're gonna slowly build upon that as you gain a little more control. So the position we're gonna take is a cat-cow position. This is a great place to start without any, any feedback to where it's going to make it a little bit harder. Head on all four, hip, knee in a good alignment, shoulder is fine, but my goal is to not move anything from my head all the way through my rib cage and to just move my lower back and take it through flexion. So I'm pushing the lower part of my spine up towards the ceiling. And as I feel like, okay, that's probably the furthest it can go for me. Before I compensate through my mid back or my head, I'm gonna start going through extension, which is my belly going towards the ground and my pelvis going up towards the ceiling. Slow and controlled, thinking about my breath. Once I've reached max range, I feel like that's max range for me. I'm gonna go right back into flexion again. And again, I'm trying to keep this part as still as I physically can as I go through the lumbar cat cow. So as you start to get used to that, there's ways to make this a little more isolated. One of those ways is to drop all the way down, head down if you'd like, or you can support your head with your hands, butts up towards the ceiling, and we're gonna do the exact same thing where you're doing flexion and extension in through these positions. Slow and controlled, a lot slower than what I'm showing you right now. Usually putting a timer on and practicing this for about a minute to two minutes for one set would be pretty appropriate. And then, don't, we gotta move, buddy. Go, 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 go. To make it even more difficult, we're gonna have a constraint here. So my ribs are gonna be connected to this ball the whole entire time. I can use pillows, I can use yoga blocks, it's whatever you choose to use. But the idea here is to now, you're gonna be really honest with yourself when your rib cage pushes into that thing too aggressively, we're cheating the movement. If your rib cage goes away from it when we're going through flexion, again, we're compensating, we're using our thoracic spine to get that motion versus just isolating through the lumbar. So you're gonna see a lot less movement out of me when I do this one, but I'm gonna put it right here, right near my sternum. My head's dropped again. I can bring my legs back slightly just so I can get a little more motion out of this. If I go all the way back, I'm gonna be able to put a little more strain into my spine. So I'm gonna start easy and then work my, my legs back so I can get more load into it. But first, we're gonna stay here. And then what you'll see is I'm trying, I feel this ball on my rib cage. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not driving down into it where you can see the wrinkles in my mid back, the wrinkle of my shirt. You can start to see that that is, uh, is, is creating motion or the wrinkles are going away. That means I'm moving through the middle of my spine. You don't want that. So here we go. I'm going to start bringing my belly towards the ground, pelvic tilting up towards the ceiling. I'm trying not to feel too much pressure into this ball. I'm breathing. It is hard effort. You should be trying. It should be challenging. It should feel like you're straining decently, but we're not causing pain. And then I'm gonna go through flexion and push my spine up towards the ceiling, but keeping my ribs connected to the ball for as long as I physically possibly can without driving down into it too aggressively. And then back to neutral. So those are the progressions that we're gonna be using to establish the motion in your lumbar spine.